Last episode, I told y'all I wouldn't restart Rise. I didn't say I wouldn't restart World. I wanted to see what I could do with the light bow gun from the start of World to the end of Iceborne. I really wanted to see what the light bow gun could do low level. And I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, I've been blowing through content. No defender set. No defender set. We gonna do it the way you supposed to do it before Iceborne came out. Just, you know, kill monsters, grab a few pieces, and, and keep moving. I've been having a lot of fun, man. I love the light bow gun so much. I really do. I can tell you now. I'm main. I said in the last video, I'm gonna say it again. Light bow gun main right here. <laughs> Light bow gun main, man, is it's just too damn fun. And that's one thing I love about Monster Hunter, man, is they got a weapon for everybody. Like, don't get me wrong, you're going to come across some people who got the same love for a weapon as you do, but it's not like other games where you got this, this meta weapon, you know, where everybody play this weapon because it's meta. Now, I remember I made a video a while back, and I got a comment that I didn't really know how to respond to because World Iceborne was my first Monster Hunter. I don't know about the Monster Hunters that came before World Iceborne. So they had said, Clutch Claw ruined the game. And I was like, I was confused. I didn't even know how to come at the comment. I was like, Clutch Claw ruined the game. I was like, man, you you don't like knocking monsters on their ass? What is you talking about, you know? Because I didn't understand what they were saying at the time. But now that I'm playing through the game again, I understand. It's not about the knocking the monster down. It's about the tenderizing. If you don't tenderize this monster, you not getting as much damage as you possibly could. And you kind of do get tired of having to tenderize them. So I was like, you know, after playing for a little while and going back and looking at that comment, I'm like, now I understand what they were saying. Especially now after playing Rise, where I could just go straight in, start getting in some good damage. Now, I got to do the clutch clock two times just to tenderize them. Because, you know, the, the heavy weapons, you could clutch clock one time and tenderize them. Smaller weapons, you got to clutch clock two times. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it. Like, damn. And I'm always going for the head, too. Because I love spread. Don't get me wrong. I like using the other ammo types as well, but it's just something about that spread, being up close in their face. It's just it's just too fun to play, man. But go ahead, press that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Cut on that notification bell because I got more coming. And with that, enjoy the rest of this hunt, and I'll see y'all later. Oh boy, that monster's really mad now. Be ready for some vicious attacks. Watch out when a monster's enraged. It's better to hold off on your claw until things calm down a bit. Okay, the monster tired. Now your chance to deal some serious damage.
monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Want to take hits like that head on. Okay, let's head back and report to the old man. <laughs> 